Hey, and what is up, guys? I have Works here. Today, we are playing episode 3 of Crash Landing. So, just to start the episode today, I kind of figured that by now you guys should probably run out of ammo for your uh, needle gun if you've been shooting a lot of mobs. So, I worry went ahead. And this is the recipe if you're planning on getting more. It's just your arrows, your gunpowder, and the needle gun magazines you get when you exhaust your ammo. So, I'd probably make sure you go and keep these and keep track of them because they're paying the butt to make because you need to rubber trees. So let's just reboot that. I've actually done a lot off camera this time. I kind of cleared out the base right here to make a little bit more room in the ship. And then I went and planted those apple trees we had. You can actually make apple trees. I didn't realize this when you use, where is it? If you have oak saplings and you use an oak sapling and an apple, you make an apple tree. So that's really, really helpful if you want to get some stuff. And also accidentally did some quests while I was at it. Let me show you some of those. Quest book pop up. <clears throat> Sorry. So the quest I did was actually finished this one. And if you, it's really not that hard. All you gotta do is look up the recipes. So I didn't really think that was needed to be shown. And then I also completed the tools of the trade by making the wood armor. You make that with any wooden log in the shape of any armor piece. Just like this. I'm not wearing them though because they uh, give you a lot, lot more heat than normal. So, and I actually haven't claimed the reward for this one yet. So I guess we could do that on camera. So we get the full guard, guard pattern. And then we get to choose between a heart caster, a bronze axe head, and a obsidian arrowhead. Heart canisters, I'm pretty sure you can get in the city relatively easily. So I'm actually going to get the bronze axe set because I don't feel like making that. Awesome, we got that last Tinger's Construct full guard pattern. You can't actually make that one, so. Then we can make it on with stone, obsidian, and nether rack. So I guess we'll have a sword pretty soon. And then after that one, I we actually already completed these. We already completed this one, which gave us these, and I picked iron. And then this one we also completed earlier when we were doing lava, and we got all these and a full guard pattern for that. And I picked the ingot cast icon. And then now all that's left is melting leaves, metal dust. Oopsie. My bad. Basic survival, metal dust, which I have all the dust ready, so we can do that real quick here. And then melting leaves, which we've already done. Hunger games, which we also have the stuff for. And that's basically what's been on since last time. And I've also made some food. I'll show you guys how to make some of these in a sec. But for now, let's just go and get what we need for that last quest. If you just go and try to optimize stuff, and usually you'll end up getting everything you need for the quest anyway. Oh, I also made a watering can. So watering cans are really useful because they grow plants faster. The recipe for it is right here. If you use bone mill, I believe it works better. So, I'll just go, and this is how the water can works. You just kind of sit it on here and put it on your plants, and it grows them, which is nice. I'm actually going to swish this one out and use rice. We'll also be expanding our farm a little bit. I did a little bit of expanding off camera, but not too much. So, let's just see if we can get some rice. Okay, well that one grew fast. Awesome, so now we have rice. Which means we should have completed that quest for the rice, Hunger Games. Oh, we need 10. Heck. Okay, let's speed that up then if there's going to be 10. One sec. Let's just use some bone meal. Because <laughs> I don't feel like waiting. Let's see here. We'll just kind of spam it as we go. And rice seeds. We actually didn't get many rice seeds from that. I think that's probably because we only get one rice seed to begin with from that. And C8. I wonder. So if we hit that, does it actually take our rice seeds? Like out of our inventory? Because if it doesn't, oh, it does. Gosh dang it. 
Whew. Okay, so we got all that, and then we're almost at what the menu has many rice seeds as we need. One sec. I believe I can just go snag one from right here real fast. Or not. Huh. Wait, yeah, I actually got it. So let's just do that. And then if we do this, that should have gotten us that quest finished. Awesome. And get orange saplings, toast, and then a choice between cold water, cotton, coffee, or tea. I'm gonna take tea. Cotton, we already have enough string, and I like tea better than coffee, so. We get toast. Awesome, that's food. And I don't think that unlocks anything else. And then we need melting leaves quests, which we get just from, I believe we can just get with the bucket of water that we already have. So let's grab that real quick. And we'll toss these in our food chest. And I'll show you guys how to make those recipes in a bit. But for now, I'm just kind of rushing to try to finish quests pretty fast right now. Oh, that reminds me. We also got max barrels for the cobblestone. And I did finally make a hopper for this, which is melting leaves into here. And then makes water extremely, extremely fast. We also have some dirt I've been setting up to make a tree farm. And then also I cooked up some stone. Oopsie. Some stone. So we can start some building relatively soon. So let's see. That should be that quest done too. And we got a bucket back too, which is nice. So let's just toss this up in there because we don't really need it. Looks like I got all of my cooking stuff on me too. Let's have a hopper. Okay. Okay. So next on our agenda of things I wanted to do this episode is I want to set up a automatic sifting system because I moved some stuff around so we could do that. So these are the resources I've gotten so far. Now if we put this behind the sifter, now all I've got to do is put dust in after that, but you want to make sure you also have this hopper going into here. Get out your glass and you want glass uh, on each side. I don't want glass right there. I think I'm going to put glass right here. And then glass right here. Glass. Uh, actually, we need glass on the other side of this. Right there. And then we can just toss down some stone on either side here. And then push this up. Now what we got to actually do now is just put the dust in and it should be automatically sifting for us now. And that's now automated. You can see it go down. The reason you have to put the glass here is that way it doesn't actually fly out of the... Otherwise it wouldn't, it wouldn't go all the way up under here. It'd fly out. So now that, that process is taken care of, we should be able to just kind of leave this to do whatever it wants to do. And it should just give us all the resources we need. And we'll automatically pack that later. So now, I'm pretty sure most people usually are struggling on food by this point in the game. So, let's go and do the spider ice soup. After you get this quest done, you have access to spider ice soup quest. So, let's see how we make that. Spider. Spider ice soup. Here we go. So, we need to stock, hot, and spider ice soup. Oops, this stone looks like it flew, flew out. Every once in a while, we get some stuff fly out of here. It's not too often, though. So we have stock. You can make stock with most raw materials like raw potatoes or carrots or uh, bones. And you make that, I believe, with a mortar and pestle, a mixing bowl, and a mixing bowl. And then with the stock, now all we have to do is you have to get our pot, a spider, right? And I believe you can just put the stock and spider right here. There we go. And now you have spider eye soup. And anytime you cook something, you actually do get to keep the cooking stuff. So now let's eat it. Spider eye soup. Not the most nourishing meal, but it's a light one. Let's actually steep away the night real fast. Awesome. So let's see, it looks like we're also out of water. So let's refill my water bottle or water pack real fast. Grab some water. And these should all fill, refill automatically because I actually have a lot of water stored up in my pipes down there. Now we just gotta refill this. 
So by this point in the game, if you've been doing and copying or doing similar to what I've been doing, you should have automated water and automated cobble, which means dirt shouldn't be that hard either. And you should just have all the resources you really need at this point in the game. I also made a grindstone from ener er, applied energistics. And you can look that recipe up. All you need is some Surtis Quartz, which you can get right here. Looks like salt's flying over here too. Every once in a while you do have stuff shoot out. And then you make a grindstone, which just sticks in a uh, pattern like this. Or just like a right angle. And then you put the grind wooden crank on here. Sometimes it breaks, but you can just keep turning it. And it will make sand out of your cobble, which is a little bit less of a painful way, I guess, to make sand from cobble. Instead of smashing it into gravel and then to sand again. Now I also made a presser, which is made from iron and pistons. If you want a pattern for that, you can look it up, but it's iron on each other side and then pistons on each of these bottom sides. And that I can, we can use later after we get some uh, different seeds and press them into tofu, which is a really, really, really good resource. So I also have leveled up my hatchet another time and my shovel quite a few times now they're accustomed. And then I believe we don't really need too many things now. Let's actually go out and plant this. Because I want to actually get a tree farm would be great. Like a fruit tree farm. Because you can actually juice fruits or make a fruit salad out of them. Which is a great, great resource when it comes to uh comes to getting food. And it makes it a lot, lot easier. So let's actually move some stuff around and Kill these guys. See any spiders about to jump on me? I don't see anything. Okay. And then only two of those are actually arrow guys. Nothing around here. Let's actually go see if I can find the creeper over here. Pop. <laughs> oh, this actually got extra knockback on it from when I leveled it up, I believe, too. Yeah, it's got extra knockback, which is... Not the most needed thing in the world, but hey. Let's see if we can just shoot these guys. Huh. Yeah, he's dead. And then we can just smash this one to death, because he's not going to move from right here. Hi, guy. Awesome. Now we can just gather up the bones and such. And kill the last creeper. Okay, so. Also, actually, how we have all these out here. And fruit trees are great because they give you all your fruit and you only have to collect them every once in a while whenever they're done. And they just grow back in a little bit after. So I've just been uh, trying to like, make sure I have all of these out and planted. And I plant them usually around five apart. They have a five space gap. There we go. And then we'll grow them, I guess, with our watering can, because I don't got like a massive amount of bone meal on me. And the watering can will grow basically anything faster. It grows trees really fast. I don't know how fast it grows fruit trees, though. Actually, we have bones. I'm just going to... Because fruit trees tend to grow like with one hit from the bone meal. Awesome. And then I also want to row over here. And that we'll use for... Uh, the other fruit trees, which are our oranges. And then we can also make orange juice, apple juice out of these two. And then different pies if we get bread and sugar later from seeds. So I believe we only really need five of each tree. If it actually might be a little bit overkill. But if you have enough of these trees, then that's all you really need for ways of food. It'll cover all your food needs for at least the start of the game before you can get some of those higher end, heavier meals. Let's actually dig some of this out so we have some more room. There we go. Oh, looks seems like it's dark out in here for some reason. It must be raining, technically. No, you can never see it because we're in the desert or ocean or whatever. Wow, this one actually has a lot of oranges on it. I'm actually gonna quickly grow this that way you can get some more orange trees 
Uh, yeah, we do. see dust flies everywhere for some reason or another. Usually it's not that bad, so I really wouldn't worry about it. But every once in a while they just team, tend to go wherever they want. Let's toss these out, grab three more trees. Let's actually toss that in there. Okay, so now, well, maybe you can make orange trees out of this. One sec. I thought you could. Orange. Because most trees you can. Oh, you have to use a jungle sapling for that. That sucks. Is there any way to make jungle trees, actually? Jungle? Because you can actually make most of the trees. Oh, that's what you can only get from jungle leaves, though. Hmm. I wonder if there's any tricky ways to get jungle leaves. Doesn't look like it. When I can tell, which is kind of sad, because you need jungle trees to make a lot of these trees if you look. Hmm. I guess that's not too bad. Guess we'll just have to kick those up later for some food. We got some apples. I'm actually, here's a recipe you can actually do if you have apples. It's two, a cutting board, and a pot, I believe. Actually, it might be a mixing bowl. But when you put them together, the two apples, ah, huh, that was a mixing bowl, you get fruit salad, which is a really, really good food source. It's a light meal, restores a decent amount. And then also, I have all these uh, fries. Fries are just made with potato, salt, and then a bakeware. And bakeware you can get from clay or, you know, clay bricks. And to get clay, if you don't have it already, all you need to do is find some water, and then you put the uh, dust in the water and you get clay. So that way, if you wanted to get more crucibles or more buckets for water, then that's what the way you'd go about it. Actually, I need to block the corners here too for some reason. Maybe we'll have to do that a little bit later. I think we have enough glass actually that we can. Hello. Now let's just go cook up lap. Uh, the sand, and we'll put the glass right there later. Sand. Awesome. So, now I believe I was planning on getting the rest of uh, the patterns for our pattern chest. Let's see, where did I put that? Hmm. Spencer table. So, I just wanted to get the rest of these, because there actually is a spot in the pattern chest for every single pattern, if you wanted to go get all the patterns. Which I kind of do just in case I want different tools. We have quite a lot of them already, but I just wanted to, oopsie, ah, whatever. Get the rest of them if I can, especially the tough patterns. Because I want to make s some of the better tools. Like the felling axe, which uh, destroys the whole tree at once. Scythes are pretty nice too. Let's see. Let's just toss all the rest of these in here. And let's get the rest. So we already have the scythe. Oh yeah, I don't think we can actually get excavator. Wait, yeah we can. What am I saying? So we get excavator head. The large blade. I actually don't use those because they cost take a lot of food. Hammer. And then bowstring and fletching so we can make bows and arrows and arrowhead awesome so i believe that should be all the different patterns for tools in this game which means now if we want to build something we can i don't believe you can actually put materials yeah you can't but now let's actually make that tool from the tool head we got if you go and you put stone we can get stone sticks i actually think we have some already around here somewhere I actually just don't remember where. But I just want to get that tool right now so I can use it. And I believe the iron, the stone, is a lot better than the wood. So. And then, what was that? Hmm. Stone tool rod. 
bronze axe head. Huh. Cannot be used to make a tool. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so apparently you actually can't use those to make tools. I wonder if you can use them to make torches, like stone torches. You probably can, but... Hmm. You would have guessed. So I'm actually going to stop for a bit and figure out what I want to do next. So I will be back in a second. Okay, we are back. And the next quest we're going to do is actually the one where we're supposed to smelt all the different... Uh, Ores up. I'm gonna see if there's any way I can stay on here that isn't so hot. If I back up here, does it cool down at all? Yeah, it cools down a lot. Hmm. Well, it's not that bad. Okay. So basically, what we have to do is if you can get all the. For this quest, you just have to get all the different types of ores. So, we just kind of smelt these up. Okay, and it is done. Awesome. So now if we go into our quest book again, that should be that one done. Yeah, there we go. Manual detect. Huh. Hello. Ah, I'm out of water. Let's fill that back up again. <laughs> Automizing or automating that the water production is really really important early. That way you don't have to spend all your time trying to get water. Okay, let's go see if we can actually let us complete this manual detect. Huh. Oh, uh, we need four of each. <sighs> oh, that's my bad, I guess. Let's, that means we need a bit more than that. I wasn't paying attention. That's my bad. But while this is smelting, at the very least, we can... Uh, I'll show you some other things that you can make. After I get all this. So let's see. Lead. Oopsie, 14. Yeah, whatever. Let's just scroll those down a little bit. So, we need lead, silver, gold. And I believe we already had iron done. So, let's see if we can do this. Gold, aluminum, silver, and that. So, we need 10. This is the last one we need of these. 10. Just get 12 of that. 12. Sorry guys, my recording kind of cut out right there. So I'll combine those later. So we actually already started smelting these. And then also, I didn't, actually didn't notice that it uh, cut out on me. But we also made the survivalist generator. We can just make like that. But these survivalist generators do make a lot of heat, so when you charge your energy cell, i probably charge it from out here instead. And you just toss it in here. See, these only give 5 RF per tick, but they do with like 30 minutes. So it's actually it does quite a bit. So if you charge your energy cells, you charge them out there. It looks like we're actually running low on food again also. So let's just actually add some fruit salad. Yum, yum, yum. So we already went 20 minutes in, and we're just waiting to get that quest done for the ores. Let's see, we need 10. We're almost there. And then after that, we just need the gold that I have, and we are done with that. Let's actually see what quest we have next. So just, yeah, we just need the 10, the copper, and the gold. Actually, didn't I do gold? 10's over down there. Copper. Huh. Looks like I actually didn't get copper yet. My bad. I keep forgetting that you can scroll instead. Because <laughs> it's something that I uh, watched someone else do on YouTube. I've noticed that. So let's just toss that in there. And looks like we're actually running out of wood too. Because I don't... 
I'm not really keeping track, so I don't really don't want to use uh, my coal, and I want to use uh, charcoal for cooking up stuff, or cooking using my generator. I wonder if you can burn the... Ah, we'll just burn some birch instead. Because I don't really like birch wood anyway, it's a funny looking color, it's too light. Okay, let's just keep that. And then the last thing we need is the gold, I believe. Anyway. Oh, looks like we actually have a quest with rewards already. I don't know where, though. Yeah, that one is only zombies. Oh, yeah, we did complete this one. Let's actually claim that. And then we just need the gold, which should be done in a second. Yeah, and then we'll have all the gold, and also I can use these resources, I guess, to make some other stuff later in other episodes. Okay, well, there's all that. And that, and we're going to get these. Let's do that. We can make that. And that's actually all we have time for for today, guys. So thanks for watching. Make sure you can like and subscribe if you want to or if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment on other videos or comment on tips for games to play or tips for this map pack. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.